Hello, welcome to Introduction to Technology and Robotics, Project Planner. This is just a quick little video on how the Project Planner works um, so that you can get going on this and work on it on your own and reference it outside of class. Okay, so to get started here, you've already downloaded it. Each of you has a copy of it in Classroom, and there's instructions in there on how to download it and put it onto your computer um, in the classroom. Okay, so the way the project planner works is it's just kind of a guide for you to put together your project. Um, what you have here is a series of weeks, starting with week one, which was a couple weeks ago, all the way to 17. That's roughly how many weeks there are to complete your project. Um, this is so you can see visually where you're at and also put out the activities that you're going to be doing for your project, and then you can highlight them. We're going to be using these to meet when we meet. You're going to be bringing this or opening this up and showing it to me as a way to kind of help me get a picture as to where you're at in your project. Now, I've already done a sample one that I'm going to hopefully be able to open up here for you. And let me get a copy of that and go back to Project Planner. Okay. And just kind of highlight what I have done. Okay. So here's how it works. Started off, we did 20% time intro. And we started that in week one. That took about two weeks to do. And actual start time was we started on week one and we got actual start time. So here you can see how much um, visually kind of where you're at, kind of a graph bar graph of time, rough, rough time frames. Percent complete is just a, how, much of the, how much of that activity you have complete. The next part is research app. Plan to start that in week three. So you'll notice I didn't say plan start two. This is the week number that you're going to be doing. You're starting the new activity. So the and I got that number by saying, oh, it takes me two days or two weeks to do this. So I got I added two to the first week, and that's how I got to week three. And I can confirm that here. Okay. Now actual start is when did you actually start it? and how long did it actually take you. Um, I, it doesn't need to match. The actual and the planned don't need to match. I can't stress that enough. Don't need to match. Um, there may be something that comes up. It may be that this research takes me longer. So we can adjust the actuals. These should never change. These can change. Okay, so um, next thing. So it takes me about two weeks. You can see I'm about 50% complete with that. It's important that you're honest on this and don't try to just go through and mark everything 100% complete. This is, to, is a tool to help you and I keep you on track and kind of record down what you're doing. So the activities are just simply what you need to do, things you need to do. If you need to add in things to that, that's fine. Um, for me, I'm researching the app platform as my second activity uh, or research. That's the web 20% time research app platform choice week four I'm going to take a week to choose what app platform I'm going to use then I'm going to start learning app programming also in week four now it's important because you can see I'm we, I'm doubling up on things I don't think it's going to take me that long to choose an app platform so once I choose that I do want to start programming it and then test and revise um, don't worry if you have if you don't use up all of the activity space uh, that's I just want to make sure I gave people enough um, room in case they had a lot of activities in there. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, but you'll see as you start putting these things in. So let's say uh, you want to let's say this one actually ended up taking you three weeks to complete. Okay. Well, okay, I'll put that in there. And you can see it'll update the chart and It'll update the chart as I go along. So this, again, this is just a little visual. And then as you fill in these numbers, it will update that chart. A cool little thing here is if you want to highlight a specific week, let's say you want to highlight week three. Okay, put that in there, hit return, and then it will highlight that column. Just a neat little tool that you can do. Okay, as I said before, any questions, you can email, feel free to email me at jgarrett at fiveschools.com. Uh, basically, we're going to be, and I'll be using these to meet, kind of conduct those meetings throughout the rest of the semester to make sure that you're filling this out and using this. This will be due at the end, the initial due date will be next week, um, but the final document will be due when you're done with your project. 
If you have any questions, feel free to email me.